Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope your day is off to a fantastic start. Before we get into the March 2024 beauty empties, which are in my little bucket of, look at how much stuff we have. There's so much stuff in here. Anyway, before we get into this, just a little disclaimer. Um, I woke up this morning with massive like allergy issues. <laughs> I took the dogs out and um, it is a very lovely warm spring day here in Oregon. However, that means that uh, the pollen has started to literally invade every part of our yard. <laughs> everything, and I'm talking everything, is covered in this like kind of chartreuse hue of like pollen powder um anyway it's making my eyes water it's making my nose run if you see a tear run down my cheek please know i'm not crying i'm not sad i'm just experiencing horrific allergies which of course as i'm getting older are getting worse i have taken the claritin i'm just waiting for it to activate if you will so anyway um you guys i have oh she is full like i said this month um i have my bucket of beauty trash that I thought we could go through together. Um, I've been hoarding this trash like a normal person in the closet in the back of our house here. Um, Craig always loves when I putter out of the bathroom with um, you know, a couple of like skincare empties because he's like, where are you taking that trash? You taking that trash to the closet? weirdo um and I say yes yes I am I gotta share it with my friends okay I really think that the very best review of any given product is a finished review so I obviously have a number of things in here that I have finished there are repeat faves in here there are uh you know things I've already repurchased there are probably a couple things that I wouldn't necessarily repurchase maybe not right now but maybe in the future but I love sharing these videos with you guys because again, I just don't think that there's any better review or testament to like whether a product worked or not than just having used the whole thing from start to finish. So, and that's what we have here. No, I did not necessarily start all of these things in March, 2024. Some of these things have been open for six months. Some of them could have been open for a year and I just finally got around to finishing them. I am someone who tries very hard to finish the products that I purchase. Um, you know, I, I do give a fair amount away to my friends and my family, but for the most part, if I buy it, I'm gonna use it so and I do have a fairly extensive skincare hair care makeup body care routine so I tend to go through a lot um, anyway I will go ahead and list and link everything in the description box right below this video if you want to go purchase any of these things uh, and you want to learn a little bit more about these products I always link them go check out other people's reviews go check out the ingredient decks if you want some more in-depth information um, I always list and link everything right below this video. So, all right, you guys, without further ado, that video intro there was way too long based on the amount of stuff we have to get through. All right, let's start. I'm just gonna grab. There is no rhyme or reason as to how I am grabbing these things. All right, here we have, oh, I love this. She will be a repurchase. Uh, you guys know how I feel about this scent. It's the Philosophy Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere Shampoo, Shower Gel, and Bubble Bath. I use this as a shower gel. Um, I purchased this actually from QVC. There was a set that I got that uh, I received the 32 ounce of this body wash. There was also a 16 ounce tub of the body cream. And the best part is I got a four, that's right, four ounce bottle of, uh, I was gonna say it's not an eau de parfum. That one is an eau de toilette of, uh, it's all fresh cream warm cashmere, which is just a very warm, cozy vanilla type of scent. Um, but anyway, uh, this is the first thing that I finished and it was so lovely. I really do enjoy these body washes. Now, if you don't like this particular scent, um, pick a different one. They have a ton to choose from. You can find philosophy in a lot of different retailers. Um, Ulta carries philosophy. Um, now the range isn't quite as large, obviously. Um, QVC carries a lot. Honestly, most of the philosophy products that I buy, I usually get from QVC because they have some exclusive sets over there and the price points are fantastic. For example, the set that I purchased was like $84 for all that stuff. And they are huge sizes. A 16 ounce tub of body cream, a four ounce uh, 
perfume product and then a 32 ounce body wash like that's a screaming deal so anyway i'll see if this particular set is still available because i would definitely recommend that but you can just purchase this body wash on its own if you're interested but i love it very hydrating non-drying really kind of a creamy lather i love using that especially to shave my legs because it just it just provides such a nice slip for the razor um i'm not one who really regularly purchase like specific like shaving products i just use whatever body wash i have so speaking of uh no i thought this was the body wash no it's not the body, I, i'm not using the body wash in this scent yet um, this is the Native Girl Scouts Coconut Caramel Conditioner. All right, so I did, uh, I was very intrigued by this whole Girl Scout collection from Native. I will say um, this conditioner, I didn't ever purchase the shampoo, but this conditioner did smell a lot more like the Samoas than the body wash does. I think the body wash is it's not really that great. I wouldn't recommend picking that up. I think they could have done a better job with the scent with the body wash. This one was much closer to what the real thing smells like. Um, and I do like these native uh, shampoos and conditioners. I've used both. Um, their moisturizing line is definitely my favorite. And this is a moisturizing shampoo. Sorry, a moisturizing conditioner. Um, if you want to try any of the Girl Scout collection, I would say th the conditioner was a good experience for me. Um, I'd be curious to see if the shampoo smells like the body wash does. If it does, I'd say it just, it, I don't know. They just didn't do a very good job with the body wash. So that being said, I, I do still think native products are worth checking out. They have a very simple ingredients. Like they literally list them for you on these little charts back here. Like there's not a lot in this conditioner, right? But it works pretty great. Do I like it as much as my high-end hair care products? No, but for the price point, this is a great conditioner. It, it really is. All right, um, ooh, look, we have another Philosophy product in a mega size. This is the Philosophy Purity. Now I bought two of these 32 ounce, and then there was also a Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere um, 16 ounce body wash this set here that came with this set. I don't know what the body wash has to do with the purity, but like I said, QVC has a bunch of like really exclusive um, sets, things they pair together that you really can't find at other retailers. And this was a good deal. It was a really, really good deal. So I finished the first purity. I really like purity as my first cleanse. Um, I don't use it as a second cleanse. It does a really good job of removing <clears throat> Gosh, these allergies, you guys, they're driving me nuts. I feel like I'm about to have a coughing attack, but I'm gonna try to work through it. Um, this works really great at removing makeup, um, mascara. Oh, there's my other dog. We have both dogs in here with us now, so hopefully there's not a fight that breaks out in the background, um, but Alf is taking a nap, so hopefully he stays that way. But yeah, this literally will take everything off. And then I go in with my usual, you know, second cleanse, which I do like a foaming cleanser for my second cleanse just because I do have an oily skin type. Um, but if you've never tried Purity as a first cleanse, I would say that's my second favorite behind the Pharmacy Green Clean. Speaking of Pharmacy Green Clean, is there, there is, there is one in here. There usually is. Anyway, this was from the holiday time when they had a trio of three different like travel sized green cleans. This scent here was the warm vanilla chai. Um, I did really like the smell of this. It really does smell like a chai tea. Um, I also just like the original. I always have backups of the original um, that I purchase. Um, if you want to save 20% at pharmacy, I am a pharmacy partner. So they did give me an affiliate discount code. It's for 20% off. I'll put the information for that down below. I don't think this set is still available, but if you want to save 20% on the green clean and maybe you don't have 20% off for the upcoming Sephora sale that's starting later on this week for Rouge, um, I would say just purchase it directly from the brand. So, but I really did like this. And if they actually came out with this one in just the regular full size, I think I would totally repurchase it. That's a really nice scent. Another, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> another uh, first cleanse product that I uh, finished up is the Versed Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm with eucalyptus oil and vitamin E. This definitely, 
it did a good job. It's very eucalyptus-y, however, and here's the thing, I'm not a big fan of eucalyptus. Um, uh, for over 10 years, over a decade, I owned my own floral design business. I'm not currently doing that anymore. I don't know that I'll ever go back to designing flowers, with the exception of, you know, like for friends and family that, you know, ask me directly, but as a business, I am done with that. Anyway, one of the things that was really tough for me as a florist is I worked a lot with eucalyptus. And um, it's just not a fragrance that I enjoy anymore. It just reminds me of work, right? Like for most people, eucalyptus is kind of invigorating. Um, it can also be a relaxing type of fragrance. For me, it just makes me think work. That's not pleasant. I don't wanna, I don't wanna smell that. I don't wanna smell work. <laughs> and I still, for the most part, equate it with work, even though I haven't done flowers in a couple of years. That being said, this is very strongly fragranced and I do think it did a decent job as a first cleanse, but it's just, it's not as good as the pharmacy. I compare everything to that pharmacy because it's just super gentle and it takes everything off with like the first, you know, go. You don't have to go back in with more around your eyes because maybe it didn't remove all your mascara. I did have to do that with a couple times with um, uh, mascara for this one, but uh, I mean, it was good. The price point, it is cheaper, so. If that makes a difference, then that's the route you want to take for sure. Okay, I have, oh, I have a hairspray. I love this hairspray. Totally gonna repurchase this. It is the Kenner Design Spray Light Hold Hairspray, number nine, um, love it. Just added a little bit more texture to my hair. Didn't really hold things in place, but I don't need my hair to be held in place. If you watched my hair styling routine, which I've finally filmed um, and shared with you, you just, uh, you know that I just don't really do much for my hair on a daily basis. For special occasions, yes, but not for an average Tuesday, right? But I will use a hairspray like this to just kind of spray throughout my hair after everything is said and done to, again, add a little bit more texture or volume to my hair. And with this being such a lightweight hairspray, it works great for that. So I love it. And that is, it'll come back around. I have another hairspray that I'm trying to use up right now from Alterna. And once that one is used up, I'll head back to Ulta and grab another one of these. This. I, I love it. I've harped on it for a long time. You guys know how I feel about the Kenra Platinum Thickening Mousse. Ulta just had this on a 50% off sale during their most recent savings event. I don't know what they, I don't remember what they called it. But anyway, I bought four cans because that's what they allowed me to buy. <laughs> there was a limit of four, but yeah, I bought four. That's how much I love this. I just love to have it on hand and um, it was a screaming deal. So, but even at full price, I think it's still pretty fair um, for the, just the way that it works. It gives my hair so much volume. It makes it feel and look so much thicker than what it is naturally. And I just haven't found anything quite like this. I found a few things that are very similar. For example, this, this is good. I like this. And if you've never tried this one, I would recommend trying it. It's the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Full Form Soft Mousse. Um, this builds gravity defying styles. You can fluff, muss, and touch. Now, I do think the Kenra gives me just a touch more oomph to my hair, but this was pretty good too for everyday volume and it smelled really lovely. Um, I do, this is more expensive though. So, and you get less. This, well, no, do you? Yes, you do. This is five ounces, this is 6.7 ounces. I don't know, if you wanna try something new, this one's worth trying. I wanted to try it, so I did. Um, but obviously, that was my repurchase, so there's that. Oh, look, we have, we have something really delicious here. I don't know if this is still available. This was from Hemp's. Uh, I purchased this last year. It's their buttercream birthday cake. Um, both Craig and I actually really love this one. He liked to use this one as a hand lotion, which I thought was kind of interesting, but he said that he liked it because it didn't make his hands feel greasy. So if you are looking for a non-greasy hand lotion, um, and you're like, Craig, this might be a really great option for you. Now, I will say, I don't think it smells like birthday cake. It smells a little nutty, slightly, uh, maybe a little coconutty, but nutty as well, just in general. Um, there's also a healthy dose of vanilla in here. Um, I just think this was delicious, and I love these Hemp's body lotions. They work really great. They hydrate. Like I said, they're never greasy. I love to use these after getting out of the shower. They have a good amount of fragrance in them. Um, they also, I think, have an unscented version if that's if fragrance isn't your style. 
But if you like uh, yummy smells, uh, I would highly suggest checking out the Hemp's Body Lotions. Um, if you're not into the gourmands, they have some fruitier scents, they have some fresh scents, they have some florals as well. They have a pretty wide range, so definitely worth checking out. Um, I bought this from Ulta, so I don't know. I hope I can still link this one because it's really yummy. Would recommend. All right, we have uh, another hair care product, the Biolage Full Bloom Volume, Full Lift Volumizing Spray. I liked this. Probably won't repurchase it anytime soon because I like the volumizing mists that I've recently tried. Once again, from Kenra. I really think that Kenra has kind of become my go-to for styling products. Oddly enough, I don't love their shampoos and conditioners the way that I love their styling products, but that being said, they might be worth checking out again. So the next time there's a decent sale, um, if they have like another liter or jumbo sale, if you will, I might try out some of the Kenra shampoos and conditioners again. But in terms of styling products, uh, Kenra is really where it's at for me. But I do think this is worth checking out if you like Biolage. And if you like that Biolage scent, you know, that really pretty soft, it's almost like a spa type scent. Um, it, yeah, check it out. I, I, I did, I was glad that I tried that. Okay, um, I have a um, Kirkland uh, Signature Extra Strength Minoxidil for men. Women can use this. Don't, listen, my, uh, my doctor, my physician actually told me, don't bother with the 2%, just go for the regular 5% men's strength. The reason it is like for men is because they tested it in men but it is also shown to regrow hair in women. So don't bother with the 2.5 watered down percentage for women, just go for the 5%. This works, you guys. What I did is I actually decanted this into a, um, it was a Kenra Volume Mist, I think it was the Volume Mist spray bottle. And I've been using that because it has such a nice fine mist. I've been using that to spray the Minoxidil, you know, like throughout my hair and then work it into the scalp. I actually prefer the Minoxidil foam, but this was on sale for I think $11 for like six bottles. Listen, if you have a Costco membership, buy your Minoxidil from Costco. I'm sure Sam's Club, I, I don't know what a Sam's Club is. I, I've been told it's the same thing as a Costco, but like, I don't know, maybe that's like the East Coast version. But um, at any rate, I'm sure Sam's Club has something similar, uh, but this is dirt cheap at Costco. Six bottles of this for $11. I don't even think I could get a bottle of one of these at Target for $11, maybe. But anyway, I love Costco. I've been shopping at Costco my whole life. <laughs> Not my whole life, but... Um, yeah, anyway, moral of the story is if you want the best deal, go to Costco. They also have the foam. The foam is my preferred, but actually this has not been as irritating to my scalp as it has been in the past. So I don't know why, but anyway, I, I could go either way with Minoxidil at this point, foam or not foam. Speaking of uh, regrowing, thickening the hair, helping the hair scalp if you will this is from bosley md i bought a bunch of stuff from bosley md last year and have been using it to help to regrow my hair this is the revive thickening treatment and um this is something where you part the thinning areas of your hair and it does come out as a foam but it's kind of a weird watery foam but you just put it in the areas where you are thinning or where you're trying to regrow your hair. And then you just, again, work it into the scalp. This had kind of a great uh, effect of giving me more thickness at my crown. <laughs> this worked really well for that. So I'm gonna repurchase this as not only a treatment, but also as a styling product. So if you've never tried this, this does have DHT blockers, which can contribute to hair loss. So. Um, this is uh, this is for both for men and women. Like this isn't designed for men alone. Um, it does not say that on the label. Um, the Bosley products certainly, you know, have a very simple packaging. They're not flashy or anything like that. They're still kind of expensive, but they're good products. I've really enjoyed everything that I've used and would actually repurchase any of the stuff that I've bought so far. So. That being said, um, if you are looking to regrow your hair and you want a little bit more oomph while you're doing it, I think this worked really well for that. Don't put in too much. Like, don't be tempted to just like soak your scalp with this. Don't do that. Use it, you know, like a pump, 
a pump, a pump, a pump, and then spread it. Spread. It spreads very easily, so just don't overdo it, but I love it. Speaking of regrowing hair, of course this is in here. This is my beloved, um, my City Beauty Complete Skin Restore. Um, City Beauty, uh, at some point we will get another really good sale from them that will include this product. They actually just recently had a great sale. I, I think it might still be going. If it is, I'll put the details for it in the description box down below because there are some really great deals on some of my faves, like my Hydro Masks. They're on sale for like 35 bucks a box right now, so I'll put the information down below. But these were not part of that recent sale. Um, I wish they were, but this Complete Skin Restorer I've been using for multiple years now to help not only grow my hair as long as it has gotten, my hair grows really fast because of these vitamins. Um, they do have biotin in them. There's other ingredients as well. Um, they're great for my nails. So these are my natural nails, you guys. I don't have like tips or extensions or anything. These are all mine. I do have a dip powder manicure over top. Um, but yeah, these are my nails. Oh, and those are also my hang nails. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, I need some cuticle oil. <laughs> but these are my nails, and the reason that they are as strong as they are, that they grow as fast as they do, it is all because of this. I love this product. I've been harping on it for a very long time, and I know sometimes it gets tiring hearing about the same thing over and over again, but I'm telling you, it is that good for me. I love it. It's expensive, which is why I buy it when it's on sale at like a six month at a time type of schedule. Um, so I'll buy like six bottles when it's on sale. Is that kind of expensive up front? Yes, but it usually ends up saving me 40 or 50% per bottle, which I would rather do that. I would rather. These, these are on sale right now, or hopefully they say, I hope they're still on sale. <laughs> Um, I did put a note in my community tab about this City Beauty sale, so hopefully you saw that. But these Hydro Masks, um, I did order a box for myself because the deal was just really, really good. I have loved these for years as well. This is a once a week treat for me. These are a very thick biocellulose type of mask and um, they, uh, they just stay put really well on the skin. They're insanely intensely hydrating, moisturizing, and they just make my skin look so beautiful. So I love them as a treat. Are they a must? No, you don't need those, but if you like to pamper yourself, which I do, I do like to take care of my skin, my hair, everything. Um, it's just like one little thing that I can do for myself. I'm not one to spend a lot of money on purses, clothes, um, I drive a used minivan, like I'm not like a fancy car person. Like we all have our thing that we kind of splurge on. For me, it's my beauty junk and I love it and I use it and so, anyway. Um, repurchasing this during the current Sephora sale. <laughs> This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA plus BHA Pore Tight Toner. Um, I just talked about this in my recent weekly beauty chit chat. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm popping into Sephora to pick up my backup of it. I fell in love with this after the, this is my first bottle. It lasted so long because you basically just shake a little bit into the palm of your hand and you apply it just like you would an essence. This particular product keeps my pores clear and the texture of it allows me to use it during the daytime whereas the Paula's Choice BHA is a little bit oily. I like to use that one at night. Um, this is a great one for during the daytime. It's also, uh, it's a very low concentration of BHA. So it's a great just kind of extra thing to add into your BHA routine to continue to keep your pores as clear as possible. Um, enlarged pores are wonderful dirt, oil, bacteria, makeup collectors, and you need to keep them clean. BHA is really one of the few ingredients that goes into your pores to kind of power clean them. Um, AHAs, glycolic acids, stuff like that work on the surface of the skin, which is great for surface exfoliation, but not for like deep pore exfoliation. You guys like my movements today? <laughs> All right, we have an SPF. Listen, I liked this when I first bought it. It's the Summer Fridays Shade Drops Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And then for a while, I just, I didn't use it. And then I was like, I should finish this because it's going to expire in August of this year. And I am not going to let products like this expire. I'm gonna use them. And I did, and it turns out I actually really ended up enjoying this. After I was using it for like several weeks in a row, I was like, yeah, I, I actually really kind of love this. Do I love it as much as my Paula's Choice or my Dermatology SPFs? Not quite, 
but if you don't like dermatology or you don't like Paula's Choice, check out the Summer Fridays. This is a great option for us oily skin girls. It has a really nice light texture to it. It is slightly tinted, but it shouldn't interfere with most um, skin colors, I don't think. Um, I've never really heard anyone complaining about this one making them, you know, have like a white cast or anything like that. But I did enjoy this. You can find Summer Fridays at Sephora. So if you were rouge, you can save 20% on that this week. All right. Oh, oh, I love this product. I repurchased it. I got the best deal on this. Uh, that's the Paracone MD Cold Plasma Plus The Essence. I remember the first time I bought this was when it was originally released at Ulta and I got it on sale for $80. I picked this up at Costco. Now I ordered online. It was on sale at Costco online for $54. Hopefully it's still on sale at that price point. I love this essence. This has copper peptides in it, um, ceramides. It's just a really wonderful, uh, great ingredient type of product and while you're not going to see instant results from something like this over time the results from all of those ingredients do make a big difference in your skin and um yeah i've just been using it for a really long time i've seen great benefits to my skin it ties in well with a lot of my other skincare items this never competed with anything nice lightweight texture so i could use it both morning and night and it just ensured that i always had all the copper peptides on my skin. Speaking of copper peptides, another product that I discovered that I was pretty much mostly done with but needed to just finish um, in my backup stash. This is no longer available. I can't even link this for you. It's the Osmotics Cosmeceuticals Blue Copper 5 Cooling Moisture Mist. Um, this was supposed to act as a natural humectant, plump and smooth the fine lines and wrinkles of the skin, provides long lasting Moisture in low humidity environments helps calm and soothe uh, and refreshes the makeup. Um, I loved this and I would like to repurchase it, but I do have this, which is full of the copper peptides as well. So I don't necessarily need both, but I did want to finish this and um, I enjoyed it. And now it's, I think it's discontinued. So not really worth talking about. You guys know how I feel about this. I already have a backup in my bathroom. It is the Paula's Choice 20% Nice Cinnamide Treatment. Um, this is always in my recommendations for the Sephora sale. You can find Paula's Choice at Sephora now. I'm sure most of you guys are aware, but if you've never tried the 20% Nice Cinnamide Treatment and you find that either 10 or 15% doesn't really do much for you, um, I have no irritation with this. This also has acetyl glucosamine as well as purslane in it, which is fantastic. Um, but this was a game changer for my pores. It made them look so much smaller. If you're struggling with your pore size, you need niacinamide. It is, it's good for like a host of other issues as well, but for my pores, it has been the very best. Now I do want to test out the CauseRx 15% niacinamide. I've never used a 15% solution. But um, the 20% is chef's kiss for me. I love it. I love that product. Guys, I finished a primer. <laughs> I've been trying to finish this one for a long time. This is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. I do think this is decent for my oily skin, but is it as good as the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Primer? No. Is it as good as the Euphoria Pregame Primer? No. Do I think it's as good as the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Balm? Not quite, but it is a really nice primer. I think this type of primer is actually going to be better for those of you that maybe don't have an oily skin type like I do. Those other ones just work better with my oily skin, but this airbrush primer does make your skin look incredibly smooth. I will give it that. It smooths out the look of all of my pores. It uh, makes my makeup look very pretty as I put it on, and I do use powder foundation, not liquid, um, but I don't think I'll repurchase that one. It was great to be able to try it and use it up, but I think I'm going to stick with the other ones for now. I'm also trying the new Danessa Myrix. Um, she has a new mattifying primer as well and i think as we go into the warmer weather months that'll be a great option and i'm about to be cut off by my camera so hold please i'll be right back 
All right, sorry about that little uh, interruption there, but um, my camera cuts me off at 30 minutes. I really didn't want this video to be this long, but honestly, there's a lot of stuff in here, you guys. Actually, let me grab the rest of the um, skincare while I'm at it. There are a couple more makeup items in here and we'll finish with those. All right, skincare wise, the Drunk Elephant Bestie or Besta Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. I purchased this in like a little mini size. You can get the mini size at I was gonna say Sephora, it's not Sephora, it's at Ulta. Um, I liked this, but I don't know that I would purchase the full size necessarily. Did it work really well? Yeah. But with cleansers, I think it is okay to uh, spend a little bit less on those. They essentially do go down the drain. Now you want something that's appropriate for your skin, right? Like if you have dry skin, you probably wanna use more of like a cream or milky type of cleanser. And then if you have an oilier skin type like me, it is okay to use a like foaming type of cleanser. Um, I do find that those cleanse my skin the best, especially after my first cleanse. I really like this one, but I also have a lot of other cleansers that I really enjoy as well. So there's that. Um, this is the Water Lily pH Balanced Gentle Cleanser from Regelica. I actually did purchase a backup of this and it's it was a quite spendy cleanser. Um, I really liked how this worked, especially in the morning on my skin. Um, it did foam up just ever so slightly, but it just, you know, took everything off from the night before in terms of skincare that was just, you know, still sitting there um, that I need to get rid of before my morning skincare routine. Um, it is really, really gentle. Um, not a lot of fragrance to this one. Um, I really like the Regelica brand overall. This first one they sent to me and then the backup I purchased myself. This is a Korean skincare brand. If you, if you don't mind spending just a touch more on a cleanser, I think this one is worth checking out. But again, I don't think you need to spend like a small fortune on a cleanser. Save your money for the uh, things that stay on your skin, like your essences, your toners, your treatments, your creams, you know, that kind of stuff. <gasps> oh, you guys, listen, I fell in love with this and I would not stop talking about it, especially over the course of last fall and through this winter. This is the Alpine Beauty Super Peptide Ghostberry uh, super peptide and ghost berry barrier repair cream oh man i loved her this was so hydrating so nourishing even if you have a completely different skin type from me like if, if you are sensitive or delicate or you just struggle with your skin barrier or you need like a really healthy dose of hydration this is worth splurging on you guys. I loved this moisturizer. I loved it and I will repurchase it for this coming fall and winter. I have some other moisturizers that I'm gonna get through first. Um, I tried, uh, I also have another moisturizer from Alpine in my bathroom, the first one that they put out. I think that one's good too, but it does not hold a candle to this barrier repair cream. It's lovely. So if you're really dry, I'm telling you, you're gonna love this. You're gonna adore it. All right, let's talk some makeup. I'm really excited to have makeup in here. All right, we have one, two, three, four. Okay, lip products. I finished two lip products and um, I'm making this a goal for myself for the remainder of this year is to just pick up a few of the products that I'm pretty close to finishing anyway and just really work on them. Work on those lip products, finish them up, get them out of the system. So I had the Bite Beauty um, Yay Sayer Plumping Lip Gloss in Guava Puff. Bite Beauty went the way of the Dodo because they no longer are in business. <laughs> Now, I do think that they transition to retail with their lip lab locations. So, and they will cu actually customize your lip products. Um, they'll work with you to create a custom color. I really want to do that someday. Um, I think Craig and I are going to be going to Vegas, not this year, but I think early next year. And I think they have a lip lab down there. So I think I'm going to go make my own like mauve lippy while I'm there. Um, and then the Buxom Full On Lipstick in Sydney. Oh my gosh, how long has it been since they discontinued these? Quite some time. But anyway, moral of the story is I finished this. This was actually one of my favorite shades uh, next to Dolly from uh, Buxom. I wish I could still get this color in their just regular lipstick line, but I can probably find something similar, but the Sydney is just really, really beautiful. So I'm um, glad to have finished these two and feel like I got my money's worth out of them now that they're done. And another Buxom product. Oh, I love 
this mascara. This is a great mascara. No one talks about this mascara. Um, it does not have my favorite type of wand, ironically enough. Um, I'm gonna be repurchasing this uh, from Ulta. Ulta sent me a 20% off coupon, so I'm, I'm gonna go and buy some things. And I'm gonna buy this Buxom mascara again, but I'm just gonna buy the mini um, because I do replace my mascara every like seven, eight weeks. Usually by two months, I tend to toss a mascara. So there's still product on here per se, but I am big on avoiding eye infections. Um, I don't know. Mascara can just be a breeding ground for bacteria. And I'm just, I, I have the biggest fear of eye infections. I don't know why that freaks me out as much as it does, but I really hate like doing, you know, eye drops. Like I should be actually wearing contacts. Well, I should be wearing my glasses, but I need new glasses desperately. Um, but yeah, I, I don't do contacts because I just, touching my eye, blah, blah, blah. eye things just freak me out. But anyway, this is a great mascara. <laughs> if you've never tried this, try it. There's not a lot of colors. Your, your option is black. Uh, but you can get a waterproof version if that's what you need. Um, but that, it just, it never smudges, it never transfers, it doesn't flake. Um, and it removes easily with my first cleanse product, so it's fantastic. Oh, my nose is so itchy, you guys. I am hating the spring. <laughs> All right, uh, oh, my beloved. Speaking of powder foundation, this is my powder foundation of choice. It's Laura Geller Balance and Brighten. Um, no, here's the box that my new one came out of. I've been wearing this for years, many, many years. Laura Geller usually always has sales, and so I buy, like, four or five at a time. This is what a full one looks like. It is baked, it is a cream product that is baked on a terracotta tile that turns into a powder foundation after it's baked. There are several colors swirled throughout. These are made in Italy, right? Made in Italy. Um, Laura Geller has been famous for this foundation. I don't hear anyone talking about it, but it is the best. I love the way this looks on my skin. Is this the best color match for me? not really but i adjust i color adjust it and it's fine but the way this looks on my skin the way it wears on my oily skin it's just too good to pass up and so i love it and so i will continue to use it for all eternity if laura geller ever discontinues that i will be the person that will order a case to be able to have on hand and i will just cross my fingers that that powder is never going to go bad on me <laughs> I, just, I cannot imagine being without that foundation. It is the best. So anyway, you guys, that's everything in my little bucket of fun over here. Let me know what you finished during the month of March. Um, I have a number of products that are nearing the finishing point already towards the beginning of April here. So I have a feeling that April will be another healthy, um, I finished these products type of month so stay tuned um so if you're new please subscribe um give this video a thumbs up if you found these mini reviews helpful let me know if you have any questions check out the description box for all the information and i'll see you guys in the next one take care toodaloo